We'll look at our exclusive 11 Alive Survey USA poll shows Republican U.S. Senate candidate Herschel Walker trailing behind incumbent Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock. But now Walker is getting some help from Washington. GOP leaders are trying to shore up the Senate candidate support in Georgia under the weight of a scandalous allegation that Walker paid for an abortion 13 years ago. 11 Alive's Doug Richards was with Walker today in Carrollton. Republican U.S. Senate candidate Herschel Walker took no questions at his campaign event today in Carroll County. The candidate is trying to straighten out his campaign after some troubling news over the last 10 days. And he had some heavyweight help to do it. Then you should vote for the next U.S. Senator from the great state of Georgia, Herschel Walker. Senator Rick Scott of Florida introduced Herschel Walker at a mid-afternoon rally in Carroll County. A cluster of anti-abortion supporters were in the crowd, standing behind Walker despite allegations he'd paid for an abortion for a girlfriend 13 years ago. The same issue drew a few Walker hecklers kept away from the stage by police. Last week, an 11 Alive news poll showed Democrat Raphael Warnock with a double-digit lead over the former football star. Walker's struggles appear to have driven national Republicans to give Walker's campaign a boost from party leaders like Rick Scott, who chairs the Republican Senatorial Campaign Committee. What do you say to those in your party who have concerns? Herschel Walker led, led the dream of this country. He's, he's gone, come from the ground up from a small town with no money. He's, he's worked hard every day. He believes in this country. And that's why people are going to vote for it. And Scott says more Republicans from across the nation have signed up to visit Georgia on Walker's behalf. And that's because Georgia's Senate seat is one of the few that Republicans think that they can flip nationally this year, potentially giving Republicans control over the Congress starting next year. In Carroll County, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.